is Umar Ahmed for IFL TV in association with MTK Global. I'm in the BT Tower today with me, as you can see, we've got British boxing legend Ricky Hatton. How are you doing, Ricky? I'm great, brilliant. I had a good yeah. day, great to be here, and it's exciting times, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. nice bit of lunch. Well, it's, yeah, 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 no chips, but, all good. <laughs> <laughs> but no, um, really great to see Frank, my former promoter, and we're doing a lot of work with Frank. Oh, yeah. and. Uh, Exciting times, you know the fights that they've got coming up on BT, and just exciting for British boxing across the across the board, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Before we come onto them fights on BT Sport Pay Per View, um, so your boy Nathan Gorman's here. How's he been doing? Been brilliant, to be honest with you. You know he's in the gym, he's ticking over. You know I mean he's fighting in Leicester uh, on the Jack Catron undercard versus O'Hara. You know so. Um, He's done a little six rounder there, and then he's going to be fighting on the 22nd of December when um, Frampton fights um, Warrington. Warrington. So that's a big, um, a big bill for him, a big showcase. And um, he's there now, um, Nathan. He, he's not there now in the sense. I mean, he's, he only started boxing when he was 17, so it's uh, to get to where he's got so quickly. He's been brilliant, and he'll just go from strength to strength. You know, he's got the a good team behind him. I mean, we'll just uh, bring him along at the right pace. If there's an opening, raises his head, British title or something like that, we'll make the right moves at the right time. But at the minute, as long as he's improving like he is, I'm just happy to just be floating about and wait for any uh, opportunities to arise here. Yeah. Sure, obviously Daniel Dubois down here as well. Them two are always going to get linked. That's the fight everyone wants to see. Yeah, it's brilliant, you know what I mean? It's, it's wonderful for British boxing when you see um, Anthony Joshua top of the tree and Tyson Fury mm. fighting Deontay Wilder. Dylan White's obviously making you know great role you know um, uh, headway with his uh, career now, mm. and it's nice to see that we've got the top fighters there at the very top level. We've got British the conveyor belt just ready to fill their shoes and come in behind them with Nathan and Daniel Dubois. So it's uh, I don't think British boxing has been ever been as healthier. Yeah. You know there was the eras of Naz and myself and Cal Frock and Cal Zaki and people like that. Mm -hmm. But I'm, I'm, I mean across the board. I think British boxing has never been as successful and as uh, popular as it's been at this, this at this minute. It's True. brilliant. So obviously last week we saw Khan Vargas. Um, <coughs> Khan obviously came through that. Um, talks of him and Pacquiao. He wants a Pacquiao fight. How do you think he's fair with Manny Pacquiao? Um, I think you know Manny seems to be coming to you know to his end, and I'm here. Might be in a you know. They might be um, in similar boats, if you like, you know. <clears throat> I think Amir, Amir's um, probably seen better days and so has Manny does. But I mean, with but them both being at similar stages of the career, that still makes for a good fight, you know. So I think uh, it'd be brilliant, you know. I mean, Manny Pacquiao, you know, excitement all the way. And to be honest, for all the, the mistreatment that Amir gets, you know, or has had over the years, he's never in a dull fight. You know what I mean? British boxing's never been better, and it's even better for having Amir Khan back in it because mm. I've never mm. seen Amir Khan in one dull fight yet. You know, mm. so it's uh, and him against Manny Pacquiao. How can that be anything but entertaining? So mm. I hope it, uh, you know, I hope it uh, comes off. Would you rather see him fight Pacquiao next or Kell Brook? Um, you know. I don't know. I think I think again, like I said, that Khan and Pacquiao are at similar stages of the career. So is Kell Brook and I'm here at similar stages of the career. I mean, even though they should have happened maybe when they were all in the prime, but they're not. They're all at similar stages of the career. So they're still going to be good fights and good uh, entertaining fights for the public. But um, I think as British fight fans, we always like to see domestic um, fights, don't mm. we? You know what I mean? And uh, I think ultimately, you know. Um, Kell Brook, is, Kell Brook and Amir Khan is more of a 50-50 than Khan and Pacquiao. That's no disrespect to, to, to Amir. But, you know, you never know. It might be the right time for Amir to just cut him. He's got his hand speed in and out, you know yeah. what I mean, where Pacquiao likes to, to stand and have a bit of a go. I don't know about, I mean, um, I think Amir, if he's going to give it, I'd, I'd like this to be the last, you know, um, roll of the dice for Amir, to be honest with you. I had a heavy knockout defeat against Pacquiao and some heavy knockouts like that. Sometimes you don't come back from them, and Amir's had three of them. Mm. So I mean, I think you know, you know, he's done right doing what he's done. You know, he's got to, you know, you know, give it his best shot. But I, um, you know, you don't want to see your mates getting hurt. So I hope this is the last one of the dice, and I hope he gets them the right fights and puts a nice uh, finish and polish off to his wonderful career he's already had. Mm. Yeah, interesting thoughts from you there. And let's come on to tomorrow night. Obviously, BT Sport box office, Canelo Golovkin, the rematch. What have you made of all sort of the controversy? I think that's incredible. I mean, you know, where did Canelo get steak that makes you lose weight? <laughs> I, I could never find, I could never find steak that fucking made me lose weight. But, uh, but no, um, 
you know, you know, it is is what it is. I mean, a lot of people have said maybe you should have had a stricter, more than a six month ban. But I mean, at the end of the day, I mean, but what I'm thinking he has done, he does look slimmer. He looks like he does look slimmer. He looks like he's trimmed down a little bit. And I think he'll need that because I think he needs to be a bit nippier and explosive to close the distance on Golovkin. Because Golovkin's a very good judger of of distance and, and range and everything like that. So it looks like the Alvarez has, have done the right thing in preparing for the fight. If I was going to edge to anywhere, I think I'd edge to Golovkin because I think even though he's a big power punching machine, I think he's a very clever fighter. I think he's an intelligent fighter. He's so good with his feet, judging the distance and stuff like that. I think if there's anybody got... Um, you know the, the 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 boxing brain between the ears and able to 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 change the game plan a little bit more from the first fight. I think Golovkin's probably got a little bit more of that. So um, if he had if he offered me where if he had a, if he had me last pound and where I was going to stick it, I'd probably go to Golovkin. But it wouldn't surprise me if he could uh, if it sneak over into the Alvarez corner because he's he's been looking good in the build-up. Obviously, you got WBO champion Billy Joe Saunders. Hopefully, he comes through the Andrade fight. Do you think he could beat the winner of Canelo and <clears throat> Golovkin? You know, it's all about timing, you know, in, in this, this game. I mean, when I fought Costa Zou, I wanted, to, I wanted to fight Costa Zou three years before the fought him. <laughs> and I think if they fought him three years before the fought him, he'd have beaten me. You know, but at the time of fighting him, it was the right fight at the right time. And I think it might be the right time for, you know, for Billy Joe Saunders. Billy Joe Saunders just needs to keep active, keep busy, keep himself in the, you know, in the, in, in the picture. And I think... Um, to be honest with you, let let for me let Alvarez and Canelo knock shit out of each other for a bit longer. To be honest with you, it's all good for Billy. Yeah, when Miles are on the clock, you Billy, Billy come in and take it at the mm. right right time. Yeah. And Billy's got the type of movement, speed, and style that once they've had a few more ding dongs, might be the right time for Billy. Who knows? Yeah.